As a lifelong Philadelphian, I am so proud of this, I call it a town of neighborhoods, and I can't think of any organization that captures that better through the years than Mural Arts has. David Montgomery, go Phillies. I love David Montgomery. He is one of the kindest, nicest people that I've ever known. Our first name is Philadelphia. We're the Philadelphia Phillies, and as a result, we should be a part of the community in whatever way possible. We are very proud that there's a, a Phillies mural. It's sort of like a, a stamp on our organization that we've arrived. We've made it here in Philadelphia. We got the best of the best as far as an artist involved, and that was David McShane. He has a real love for our sport. I feel fortunate in the sense that uh, he's someone who very early on believed in me and has supported me as an artist. It's always good to know that you have somebody like, like David Montgomery in your camp rooting you on, because that, that makes a big difference. This mural kind of went beyond in terms of its connection to the city at large. It, rather than just be connected to one particular neighborhood or group of people, it was actually a city-wide mural. So it's really important that we have people who recognize the kind of work Mural Arts does and is willing to support the artists who do that work. And uh, David Montgomery has clearly been one of those people. I'm delighted that I've gotten to know him and that we're able to honor him because I think he really deserves it. He's been a driving force behind the Phillies, but I just see him as a quintessential Philadelphian. When I think about personally being honored, I realize that I'm not being honored. The reality is the Phillies are being honored, and I'm very proud of the recognition that Wall Ball has given to the Phillies as a result of our participation with Mural Arts. And we look forward to participating, as I'm sure we'll be asked to by Jane, in a number of murals going forward. If you know Jane Golden, it's very tough to say no to Jane Golden.